Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to delete records from a table using a delete query that have missing related records in your Microsoft Access database. Today's question comes from Ethan in Syracuse, New York, one of my Platinum members. Ethan says, I'm trying to go through my database and delete all the orders that don't have any line item details with them. This happens quite often where my sales reps put in orders, but don't finish them and don't add line items. And now I've got a bunch of basically blank orders in my database. All right, it's basically like this. You got your customers, you got your orders. This one's got details, right? This one has none, it's missing stuff. So you wanna go through the database and clean all of these out. Now, full disclosure, I changed some of the details with this video so that it had more mass appeal. I wanted to use an example that everyone can understand. One of the tough things that I get sometimes is like, Ethan sent me uh, this question talking about two tables in his database and I have no clue with something specific to his business. So I had to learn you know, exactly what he's doing. It's not orders and details, but at least this is something that everyone can kind of wrap their head around without me explaining what these tables mean. So orders and line items, two related tables. If you wanna learn more about how I built my invoicing database with the order tables, go watch this video. You should also have a good understanding of relationships. You should also know what an outer join is. It's where you're missing records on one side of a join, right? You've got a customer without a contact. You've got an order without a detail item, right? You're gonna need to know a little bit of SQL, not a ton, right? Not a, not a programmer level amount, just a little bit, because there are some things in Access that you can't do with the query designer. And there are other things that you can do, but it's easier if you know some SQL. This is one of those things where it's much, much easier if you know a little SQL. And you should understand how delete queries work. So if you don't know any of these things, go watch those videos first. They're all free, they're on my YouTube channel, they're on my website, I'll put links down below you can click on. That's why I consider this an expert level class. See over here, expert, expert. It's beyond the basics, but it's not quite developer. We don't need any programming to do this but it's something that I cover in my expert classes because you should know a lot of access before you get to this point. Okay, all right, here we go. So here I am back in my Tech Help free template. You can grab a copy of this free database off my website if you want to. And back to my order form, I got this order's got items, this one does not. Let's take a couple of more orders and get rid of their detail items. All right, so let's go to the customer list. I'll pick Jean-Luc. Let's go to one of his orders. We'll delete this stuff. And then we'll do one more. Let's pick uh, Dr. Bashir orders and we'll get rid of his vintage tricorder and all that stuff. If you haven't yet go through, I took some time and put some pretty cool stuff in here. Okay. So you've got some orders in your database. Obviously with only three of them, it's easy to, you know, just find them and, and get rid of them. But let's say you got 3000 of them in your, you know, a hundred thousand orders deep in your database. You want to go through and automatically delete all the orders that don't have any items on them. And you can put more checks in there too. You can obviously, you know, if there are no items on them, then the orders will be worth zero. You can double check that. You can make sure that there's not paid, whatever. But I'm just going to do the basics of any orders that are missing a detail item, missing a related record, a child record. Now, normally you'd think you could do it with a delete query like this. All right, create query design. You're going to bring in both of those tables, right? The order table, the order detail table. Close this thing down over here. All right, now if you bring in, let's say order ID over here and order ID over there and you run it, now you're gonna see a bunch of records in here, but what you don't notice is you're missing those orders that we deleted on this side, right? If I go back into here and I look for that order ID, okay, so order ID three is missing items. And if you look in here, you'll notice order I three doesn't show up at all because this is an inner join, right? So in order to see all of the orders and the details that match up, we have to change this to a left join, right? Number two here. That's why I wanted you to watch that missing records video. Now, if I run this, okay, there's order three and order four. And there should be one more down here. There's the number 10 for the other one, right? There's three orders in here that are missing items. This is null on this side of the relationship. Okay, so now you'd think this should be as easy as coming over here. All right, I can make this criteria down here is null. Okay, is null. 
Yeah, I got a video on is null, by the way, if you're not familiar with it. I assumed if you know all the rest of that stuff, you know what null is. But if you want to learn more, go watch this video. Okay, but now if I run this now, I can see only the records where this is missing detail items, right? There's my three orders that don't have any details. Okay, well now what should be just as easy enough is to turn this into a delete query, right? Let's make it a delete query, click on that. And usually when I make a delete query, I teach you guys click on this thing first, switch over to data sheet view first, right? Data sheet view, because it'll show you a preview of the records that it's going to delete before you actually delete them. All right, that looks good. Come back in here and now run the query. Yeah, specify the table containing the records you wanna delete. That's not good. All right, hit okay. And then you look, oh, okay, you know what? All right, we got two where conditions down here. I don't. I forgot to pick a from. You gotta tell it which table you wanna delete the records from, right? That's the from condition, there's where and there's from. We covered that in the delete query video. All right, so pick from, and wait, oh, hang on, wait a minute. I can't, my, oh, I can't, why can't I change it? Let me type it in, fr from tab. Ah, it goes back to where, what's going on there? It won't let you change that. Okay, that's weird. All right, instead of that ID, let's try the whole, let's try the star, order T dot star. Oh, now it switches to from. Okay, that makes sense. All right, we're, we're getting somewhere. All right, let's check it again, data sheet view. All right, good, same three records. We're just seeing all the fields down, that's fine. All right, ready, run it again. Oh, uh, ah. could not delete from specified tail. What's going on? All right, uh, let's see, what's next? What can we try next? Let's take a look at the SQL, right click, SQL view, okay, delete, oh, well, it's got two things in here in the delete statement, that's not right. All right, let's get rid of this second part. We don't wanna delete stuff from the order detail table because there's no record there, right? So let's just delete that. All right, delete order T dot star from order T, left join, the rest of this is correct. Okay, looks good, all right. Let's take a peek, and all right, looks good so far. Let's go back to SQL view, all right. Everything's good, run it, and eh, same problem, huh, hmm, um, at this point, I, I don't know, how about just delete order T, maybe that, maybe that'll maybe work, no, specify the table you want to create, I don't know, I'm at a loss, this is not going to work, okay, one of the shortcomings with access is, if you have a delete query, it only wants to have one table in here, up top here, you don't want to have anything with a join. It causes problems, okay? That's why the name of the video is delete query join because it's joins, no, it's gonna, no, just no, okay? So how do we do this? Well, instead of using a join, we're going to use the in function, but in order to use the in function, we need another query that's got the list of records we want to delete, okay? Let's start over, let's start over, start from scratch. All right, so let's go back to that first query that we made that had a list of records. It showed me a list of records that we wanted to delete. So again, create query design, bring in my order T, get rid of this thing. Order T, order detail T. All right, change the join. Okay, looks good. This guy, this guy is null. Run it. Okay, looks good. All right, now I, I only wanna have one field in here I don't wanna to have to deal with order T dot order ID and then order detail T dot order whatever. So let's get rid of this field from the results. We still need it here for the criteria, but I'm gonna turn that show off, okay? And now when we run it, okay, look at that. We got a nice clean list of just the order ID and that's it. So this is the list of records I want to delete from the order table. All right, now I can't turn this into a delete query, but I can use this list as the criteria for another query using the in function. So let's save this guy. Save this as order no detail Q. I try to keep all my names singular. That's just another one of my little things. Instead of saying orders without details, this way later on if I'm programming or I'm doing something where I gotta type it out, I don't have to stop and think if it's order or orders, right? Customer or customers, okay? Just another one of my little tricks that I do. All right, so we've got order no detail Q. Now, with that in mind, I've got a list here of records I wanna delete. Let's make another delete query. Create, query design. Turn this thing off again, all right. Let's bring in my order table. No joins in this one now, all right. 
We're going to turn it into a delete query right away. And we're going to bring down the order ID. This is the field that we're checking. Now, we want to make sure that we delete all of the orders where the order ID shows up in this query. How do we do that? I'm going to zoom in so you can see it right in the criteria field here. Shift F2, zoom in. We're going to say in, the keyword in, and then in parentheses, you can put a list or you can put a list like, you know, 4, 10, 7, whatever. Okay. Or you can put a select statement in here, right? So we're going to say select order ID from our query order, no detail Q. So this is going to run and it's going to return a list of all of the items that come up. In this case, the order IDs. And then this will be used as the criteria for that guy. So you've got a delete query with no join, but it's using that as the criteria. All right, let's take a peek. All right, look at that. There's the three of them. There they are. Let's go back down. Let's run this query. Okay, I have warnings turned off. You might see, you know, warning a query is going to run that's going to delete three records, blah, 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 blah. Say, say okay. Okay, now take a peek in here again, and now notice they're gone. They're not showing up there. Why? They were deleted. Isn't that cool? All right, back in here. Let's save this. We'll call this my order uh, delete. Delete. I can't type today. No detail. Q, whatever. Okay. Close this guy. Check out the order no detail queue again, and nobody shows up. Go into a customer that you know had one of those types of orders, and look, he's got one of one now. See? That other record is gone. It's gone. That's it. Bottom line is, if you got a delete query, you can't have any joins. You got to get your criteria some other way, and you can use that in function to get the criteria. If you want to learn more about this cool SQL stuff, I've got a three-part seminar series that covers all the details, all the stuff. Part one which I actually covered this in function in part one. Part one is all the selecting data, viewing data, where conditions, order by clauses, all that cool stuff. Everything you really need to know to be efficient with access without being a programmer. Part two is all about manipulating data, right? Action queries, update, append, delete queries, that kind of stuff. Union queries, things you can't do in the query by example, uh, the, the, the graphical, the visual query designer, okay? And then part three, for those of you who want to get that deep into it, that's for all, that's for modifying the structure of the database, changing tables, adding indexes, all that kind of stuff, which not a lot of people get that far, but parts one and two are definitely worth the time. If you plan on building access databases, you know, for, for, for reals, right? <laughs> Check out at least part one. All right, folks, that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. 
I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.